Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of December, as usual, I have two special sales offer available. One, it's a yearly reading. It's a 2020 sneak peek and guidance, a reading that looks upon what kind of changes, opportunities, and um, challenges and major themes might be experienced for you during the next year cycle. And the other one is called The Gift from the Universe. This is a special themed reading that was created considering Sagittarius season and also this Christmas time because it's a reading that focuses solely on bringing good news, good information, uh, good indication of what might be positively manifesting into your life. So if you would like to know more details about those special readings or any other of my services again just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can do that by following the paypal link which is down below such as my facebook and instagram page so aquarius um some of you might still feel a little bit stuck and i i say that still because that was a major theme for some of you during the December um, reading, the December Tarot Vision reading, there was a lot of focus on needing to lay back, you know, allow energy um, to happen and unfold naturally, to surrender to a process that you might be having some um, difficulty surrendering and understanding and accepting you are in. And um, you have again the hanged man, so that's the energy that still is heavily concentrated here as an important theme as you are, um, as how you are energetically presenting for mid-December. But I'm feeling like for some of you, you're learning to use this time or you will be learning to use this time where not much seemed to be happening or where you don't feel capable of doing much because of any sort of issue, condition, uh, problem that might be holding you back um, you will be using you know this time to acquire some sort of skill on your own to you know make this process process uh, easier what I want to say is that some of you are learning to you know make um, lemonade with the lemons you have and the feeling here is that you have been given something that you have not yet fully understood what you're supposed to do with so this could be um you know an idea an information an interest of yours uh an opportunity something that felt like um you know you you know it's not something that you would obviously associate or connect with prog progress or a good thing because I see that the majority of you that whatever this is presented as is not you know you know is not what it seemed it is what it seemed it was be it was going to be or it is at first sight so it's a really a little bit of a confusing energy with some of you when it comes to um, seeing another side to situations, okay? Uh, going beyond the obvious and not judging definitely a, a book by its cover. And you can use that to anything that right now in your life is appearing that does not seem very useful, okay? Um, or very important. It might just be. It might just be that the very same thing that you're feeling like is a, a source of problems and difficulties in your life is what's going to help you turn around a situation um, for a much better position. I feel like for some of you that feel like you really can't do something uh, because you don't have the physical energy, because you don't have the health, because you don't have the resources, because you don't have the support, for those of you that feel this way, this time where you're surrendering to the to the notion that you don't have something by surrendering to the or accepting in this case that you don't have something you will 
find out that you did all along, that there's a side to it that can be, um, you know, used and almost like something can be fabricated in a different way to reach results. But the hangman is always that question of the upside down, right? It's not going to be how you know it. Life is not going to be how you know it after you go through um, a hangman rite of passage. Okay, the, the hangman right is a rite of passage between one state, a spiritual understanding and enlightenment to the other. It's always about enlightenment. It's all always about finding out something that you were not in um, awareness of. So when you know something, you cannot unknow it, right? You cannot go back to how you were before, how you're, um, how you were operating in terms of knowledge, in terms of even the things you see with your own eyes. You're not seeing the same things and you will not be seeing the same things that you saw maybe one month, two months, one year, two years before this happened to you. Because this isn't, this didn't happen uh, to you, this happened for you, you know that saying? And there's a part of it that is having a difficulty coming to light, coming to birth. So you, you, because you also have the Eight of Swords. So this is an extreme energy of feeling trapped, feeling powerless, feeling, you know, um, feeling that you're surrounded by challenges and obstacles. And you have a, like a no way out of it. Because it's not a way out, it's a way through and above, okay? Where you rise above old information, old pro programming, old skin. And this is the thing, some of you are still a little bit attached to um, a past again identification or expectation uh, that you had of how things would be or should be to fit your image of happy ending, ending emotional completion, where you felt like everything was then, if only you achieve that, you would achieve this. Basically what is happening is like your access to profound happiness, the formula to it, okay, the way uh, to it is changed. It's not that you're not going to find the, th the things that you desire the most. It's that in order to find them, something needs to change. Your belief systems most likely are being and have been almost like, and I feel like for some of you it's really a complicated matter, matter I'm sorry, because like some of you felt like something was almost like, again, teared down, eradicated, Something you always held into, right? Uh, to find strength, to find hope, to find faith, to find meaning. And when that energy was put into question, and I feel like for some of you, you really this was a really experience of uh, like a facade, something that was a facade, that was a lie, that was an illusion that you found out about, that caused serious um, damage to your belief in something else, to your belief in a higher power source, including your own higher power, including your, your belief in how you tap into your own magnificent source of creation to create change, to create better outcomes and circumstances and opportunities, because obviously you deserve it, but if you don't feel like it's real, like it can really happen if the belief is not there manifestation cannot happen without belief and strong emotion so what you saw that is like a feeling of something came down and 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 the truth was revealed to you and it was a little bit shocking obviously that for some of you in a more uh down to earth interpretation Maybe you saw the truth about someone. Maybe you saw the truth about a situation. Maybe you found out that something you always held dear in your heart was not as what it appeared to be. And if you are in a moment where you're trying to overcome that trauma 
again breed breed actually it's one of the things here that i'm feeling like breed and rest which it was another message that was showing uh for you in december the december reading that i uh so if you are resonating with this message i suggest you watch um a need to rest a profound need to rest after heartbreak always after heartbreak we try to distract ourselves and do 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 the thing that is going to help us through this heartbreak in whichever way it was um, and is, is to rest. To just stop. Give yourself that time to recharge, to heal, to process all the information. To, to promote space in you. To absorb more information after the heartbreak. Because when a heartbreak happens, that's it's a shock to the system. And it's the only thing, right, that our whole being see feel know to be true and this is where the bypassing of heartbreak um is really dangerous for some of you that you have bypassed um previous heartbreak or real big disappointment disillusionment again what is happening for some of you Aquarius is this is like the need to now deal with it a need to now confront that you had not yet rested and processed things of the past things that really shook you down it really shook you and took you down because the hangman is that energy of a man taken down right by aside an event aside of a situation or an event that makes them like i i don't know how to interpret this i don't know what this means i don't know how to work with this i don't know how to function with this so now what now what you need to stop and wait it out at least see the other side but to see the other side of it aquarius um you must become available and I feel like some of you, um, your own availability to your spiritual needs, to your deep spiritual healing needs has not been the best. And so you're faced with constant delays or roadblocks that seem so unfair because you're not yet ready to receive the greatness of things and the gorgeousness of things that of course you deserve but you're not ready those things that want to come in need to come in in a clean healing space environment and the absence of that space um is what has been for some of you a source of delay for others of you i feel like there's almost like this astral traveling happening or there's some sort of traveling happening and that i'm feeling is like um okay for some it's an actual uh travel that you might be wanting a trip that you might wanting to you might be wanting to take but feel like you can't like you have your um you have conditions in your life that do not allow you at this time to just fly away as you would like but for others of you i'm feeling like this fly away is like a need to escape right and you might be escaping a lot in daydreaming you might be escaping a lot again in astral travel or uh, energy particularly for for some of you aquarius like there's a little bit of a pisces energy with you so it's like aquarius that have pisces placements or you're dealing with a pisces energy this might be as well a very important message for you but i'm feeling like the pisces like really having huge outside of the body kind of experiences throughout your sleep or meditations or just practices that some of you might be um making this can be incredible like some of you could be you know reaching incredible heights you know in the other realms that are not about this one the 3d ones basically that's what i'm saying and it can help some of you ease up 
the burden and the pain. For others of you, it's you're doing that to escape again, uh, taking care of your own health, taking care of your own healing. It's like you can't, it's a feeling like because you can't sit with whatever is wanting you to um, process. It's like a feeling like you can't listen to what needs to be processed. You evade, which is fine. But this evasion is, again, it's a vicious cycle where you're faced again and again with the Eight of Swords. So just be mindful of that. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays for all of you. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.